up guys and welcome back to Wasatch Moto Overland. Today, as promised, we're going to be showing you how to install two 160 monocrystalline panels on our Cherokee Grey Wolf. So let's get started, get up there on the roof, show you what we're working with. Alright, so here's our panel. It's a little baby 50 watt panel. And basically what we're going to do to begin with, is we're just going to peel off this sealant that they use to seal the brackets up with. That's it. So you can probably just go straight through it. Like that. Just do this on both sides. existing panel. We're gonna disconnect it over here. Oh there's two little tabs there. Just pinch it and pull it out just like that. So now our panel is free. We'll get this off of the roof and get this cleaned up a little bit and then we'll show you the new panels. Alright so we've got our panels here. Uh, just this one so for this panel I'm just going to be removing these brackets off of the existing 50 watt panel just a 10 millimeter bolt on the back side and then for the other panel I've got these angle brackets that I just had laying around um, I only had three of them, and I'm just going to make one out of this uh, eighth inch angle iron. You can get it at Home Depot. And I just cut it with my bandsaw. But basically, instead of having this apparatus, I'm just going to self tap this at the same uh, depth, and I can get two self tappers in there, and it'll hold really good. So, these ones, same thing. We're just going to match the depth and self tap them in there. So I will show you when we get these <clears throat> brackets all finished up and then we'll show you how to mount them. So the self tappers I'm using are these guys, three quarter inch length, number 10 diameter, five sixteenths hex. So basically we're just holding this uh, where it was on the existing one it wouldn't quite reach to this hole so I'm just going a little bit below it and then I'm just using my self tappers actually using two of these and as you can see they grab really nice they'll be super solid Alright, so what I've done uh, right before putting these up there on the back side, I went ahead and just siliconed these just as an extra measure to kind of keep these self tappers in place. Um, just in case, you know, they want to work loose, um, this will prevent that from happening. So I just siliconed all four sides and then we're going to set these up there in the position that we want. Alright, so because we have to do this in a series because we have two of these. Um, we need to have them close to where the power goes into the camper. So I'm gonna mount this one here and then I'm actually gonna mount the second one right here. And before we do that, we have two more holes that this is covering. So I'm gonna lift this up and we're gonna use this Henry White 100% silicone. It's a little bit expensive. 20 bucks for this tube, but it's designed for roofs, every type of roof, and will last uh, basically lifetime warranty. So um, we're gonna just seal up these existing holes to make sure there's no um, holes that could potentially leak, and then we'll permanently put this in place. So 
we're just gonna lift this up put a big old doll up here set it on top like that we're gonna run a screw in So panel number one is attached. Here's number two with the factory brackets. And because we're putting it up there, it curves just so slightly at, on this front side. So what I did was I just bent these brackets forward just a smidge. So they're not 90 degrees anymore. They're just going forward this way. <clears throat> so that should allow it to be flush on the surface. And then I made sure that this inverter is closest to that same with this one it's on this side underneath and this one will be close so we're gonna we're gonna put these in a series meaning the positive on this one will go to negative here and then positive will go to the so I'll, I'll show you how that works when it's all wired in when I'm when I've got this one attached and we'll show you the finished product so just so we can see how this works so we've got our first panel here, second one here, and this is where the power goes in, positive and negative, to the solar uh, charge center or where it distributes power to the batteries. So we have our negative going into this panel to the inverter, positive coming back out of that panel, going to the negative, and these are labeled too. So you'll see that this says negative right here and the other one says positive uh, right there. So we got positive coming out of this panel into the negative on this panel and then positive after the inverter here back into here. So it's very simple. You really can't do it wrong per se, um, but this is pretty basic. They have these nice connectors to where you're not gonna swap them up. So we're just gonna tuck these up under here. And we will be gilding just like that. Nice and uh, basic not super complicated looks neat so we're just gonna mount this one and then we will be donezo up here all right so we're all finished up up here both of these are mounted sealed in and ready to roll so these are both 165 watt so we have 320 watts of power here 
So I think it'll charge up our batteries nicely. And then we're gonna be adding a battery down there. So we'll meet you down there and show you the next step.